Strange sounds and shadows, an eerie presence. You're not alone if you believe in ghosts. A 2021 survey reveals that approximately 40% of Americans think ghosts exist. Intrigued? Well, here in Quincy, paranormal investigators say this ship has spirits in residence. The USS Salem is a museum, but unlike most museums, when it's closed, there's still quite a bit of activity here, if you're paying attention. I had no idea she was haunted when I first started coming down here. Don De Cristofaro is a Navy veteran. A Quincy native, he worked in the shipyard before volunteering on the USS Salem more than two decades ago. The Salem is a heavy cruiser, a Des Moines class heavy cruiser. She was in service for a very short period of time. 1949, she was commissioned, and she was decommissioned in 1959. The Americans and Russians were starting to build submarines, and she just wasn't built for that kind of war. De Cristofaro heads up Greater Boston Paranormal Associates, which has an office on board the Salem. He claims the ghosts here are numerous, making it hard to unearth their identities. I would be shocked if there was any other naval ship in existence that never saw combat but saw as much death as Salem had. In 1953, an earthquake off the coast of Greece brought civilian casualties to the ship's hospital. That same year, while docked at the Boston Naval Shipyard, an explosion aboard a nearby aircraft carrier. Some of the guys hurt aboard the Lady were brought aboard the Salem for treatment, and a number of those guys died aboard the ship. In 1956, she was steaming with a destroyer, the John R. Pierce, and they had a gun mount explode, and a number of those guys died aboard Salem. So we think the death toll aboard the ship is somewhere in the neighborhood of 100, uh, and we talked to all manner of them. Explain that. When you say talk to them, what's, what's happening exactly? And we have a lot of tremendous audio that we've recorded over the years. You like us investigating your ship? No. I didn't say we paid attention to it, I just said that. <laughs> De Cristofaro says another recording features a female voice chiding his team for misplacing their keys. How did you get there? And there's no one else there? No, we were the only three people on the ship. On weekends, De Cristofaro leads tours of the Salem, ready with ghost hunting equipment, just in case. This is a motion detector, but in, in ghost hunting tradition. <laughs> Tubular bells. <laughs> Tubular bells. This piece of equipment's called a REM pod. Most of what we do centers on electromagnetic fields. We know it's the real thing because we have three REM pods going off at the same time in response to to questions. For the skeptic who might say, well, what if there's an electrical storm nearby? Or what if there's just background static electricity? It's one of those things that if, if you desperately don't want to believe, then you're not going to want to believe. Videos show objects suddenly falling off beds in the hospital, which De Cristofaro believes is the ship's most active space. In this room, we have a lot of luck with personal stuff. We didn't have a supernatural experience during our visit as far as we know. But De Cristofaro says the decades he spent investigating the ship is all the proof he needs. All of us have a certain amount of energy, and in some cases, it's so powerful that they outlast our bodies. And that's what I think we're, we're dealing with. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, so many people, military and civilian, died tragically on this vessel, away from friends and family. What is certain? The USS Salem is haunted by grief. Mm. <laughs> and as we mentioned, the USS Salem is not just for ghost hunting, it's also a museum. Right, all kinds of exhibits about the Four River Shipyard, which built more than 600 ships between the late 1800s and 1989. And in case you're curious, Don does do ghost investigations elsewhere around the area besides just at the Salem. Hmm, how'd you feel in there? Felt fine. Okay. My cell phone didn't work when I left. <laughs>